Sometimes all you need is a plan. After a week of waves and salty skin, we set our hearts on sailing to a new country further north called Vanuatu. The froth levels were high. We were determined to get back to Numea and prepare Nanji for our next passage crossing. Strong trade winds had been prevailing every afternoon, making it difficult to sail south. Leaving early, we decided to sail outside of the lagoon to avoid tacking around reef, hoping to reach the next pass before the trade winds started blowing. Look at the size of that wreck. Woo. Someone would have got in trouble. Heading out to the big blue. Yeah, we are leaving the comfort of the lagoon and heading out to the big blue. We hoisted all sails, sailing as a cutter rig. We knew the wind was coming, so it was a race against time. We've just turned around. Um, the winds were getting up over 25 knots now, and we're just bashing into it, not really making any progress. So, um, yeah, we're gonna head back and maybe wait for some lighter winds, maybe tonight or tomorrow morning. Uh, we have the southeasterly trade winds which have started blowing and we want to move in a southeasterly direction so yeah we're gonna have to wait for some lighter winds or like a little window of um different winds there so but yeah no problem in turning around these things happen you can only do what um the weather lets you do and sailing isn't it you look like you're enjoying yourself oh it's exciting i'm loving it loving the wind we're in the lagoon now, it's uh, a lot flatter in here, we don't have the open ocean wind chop, chop swell to cut through, so yeah, Nanji's um, doing really well, we're beating into it, but it's just such, we're doing, um, we've got a bit of speed about us now, so actually getting somewhere. We anchored behind Il Izzy for the night awakening to the most beautiful sunrise. The ocean was so glassy it was impossible to tell where the ocean finished and the sky begun. It almost felt rude to disturb the peace with our movements, but we had to continue our journey back to the city. We're on that lean, we're copping it sweet again. We left bright and early, we've gone from motoring into three sails into two sails now and uh, the rails underwater yeah we're sitting on a 30 degree lean hammering it hard old nancy girl but yeah the old trade winds are pretty hardcore so i uh, will keep heading on this line on this course and there's a little anchorage in on the mainland it's probably another oh, another four or five miles max With smooth seas in the lagoon, we pushed Nanji like we were racing. Normally in these stronger wind conditions, we would depower the boat, trying to remain at around 15 degree lean. Today, however, it was flat out, fun and exciting sailing, racing to get back to Numea. Back in Numea, we headed to land to get ready to leave. Arriving to the dock, a few French lads with their kids asked us in broken English for a lift to their boat as their tender was flat. We know that feeling, so we were more than happy to help. I was unsure what to do though when they started handing me their children. The Lediva Artenda is, we've finally given her some loving. She's got a few patches underneath that's coming off and she's got a dirty butt, but we'll clean her butt and get rid of these patches and we found a place where we can actually buy some PVC material. We've got some glue that we got from Aussie Land, so stick these couple of big patches on underneath and yeah. make her beautiful again. <laughs> yeah. Tenders aren't cheap, are they? No, they're not. We, we always thought we'd just get a new one and we'd just run with it, but it, this guy just doesn't it still holds air, there's no leaks in it, so we just might as well look after what we've got then 
Yeah. 1050 Pacific francs for a couple of meters of this. That's like the first thing that's cheap in New Cow. <laughs> that's like 25 bucks or something. Like, stoked. Yeah. It's cheaper to repair things yourself, hey? Yeah, it's so much cheaper to repair it. Like we asked how much, we asked how much it would cost for him to fix it, and he said about 15 to 20,000, which is like 200 plus dollars instead for 25 bucks. Winning. Yosh, Yosh on the fix it. We're doing a bit of maintenance before we go too remote, because basically Numea is the place to get any sort of boat stuff. So. Before we head into the northern areas and more remoteness, we've got to fix any minor problems. And we had a bit of a noise that was coming out from the uh, around the drive shaft. We're getting a bit of a whoop, 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 whoop sort of deal. And upon inspection, it looked like our alignment had stuffed up a bit where the coupling was. But it turns out we'd uh, we'd busted a washer on a bolt, so one of them had come loose. And we have a joining coupling that's made of plastic, and that's got a little bit of give in it, and that was wobbling around. So it's an issue if we let this uh, con to continue, that vibration is, the, the play in the shaft is going to ruin our gearbox and we'd have to get another gearbox. So yeah, it's a preventative that's uh, very essential that those two things meet squarely. You just go put it in gear, just go slow. It's in gear! I just uh, pull that apart, realign the shaft, and yeah, got it back together, and Nanji's great again. Yeah. Just look past the wall of cans. <laughs> oh, the boat is an absolute mess at the moment. We've got so much stuff going on. We are, we're trying to get ready to leave uh, New Caledonia in. And yeah, we've got so much online stuff to do, but also a lot of uh, boat work to do as well. So yeah, it's all go, go, go right now. Emailing border control. There's four points of entry into Vanuatu, and uh, the island that we're going to first isn't one of them. So I'm just trying to organise it so someone can come down there and meet us and um, sign us off. Uh, it's something that um, cruisers have been able to do. So hopefully. We'll Are we lost? Yeah, we're lost. No. <laughs> no, we just uh, we're coming up this street here. We're going to an exchange bank. Uh, so we're getting some Vanuatu. Coins, what are they called? Vatu. Some Vatu. The lower islands that we're going to, I don't think there's going to be any ATM or anything like that there. So yeah, we need lots of cash. Bulk up. Bulk. Just don't get lost. Just don't get us lost, Benita. Oh, what? <laughs> Never. Come on. <laughs> now we're off to the exchange place. What are you doing? Making it rain. <laughs> How was that successful mission? Unsuccessful as <laughs> always. Uh, everything just takes so much longer when you're in a foreign country. We've got to go to the other side of town. Uh, that exchange place only exchanges into Pacific Frank. Uh. <laughs> We've been to six banks and an information place now. And they've brought us a new map. So hopefully we got this new joint where they reckon we can exchange. So let's go for our seventh time lucky. Just getting a few wedding dress ideas. You look good in that. That was, that was pretty easy to find. Not. Bonjour, parlez-vous anglais? Yes, I exchange money? Yes, I know Merci. Merci. We're in the dark passageway. And then whether we're exchanging money or they're just taking it from us. I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Did you just turn all the lights on? Bonjour, I Eden Plus. No, Eden Plus, just the dog, the front of the lift. Yeah. Ah. This is sick, every workplace should have a dog. Yeah. It's getting a little weird. Well, that was just your everyday walk in the park, wasn't it? Seven banks later, 
three stories of dark floors and we found just the little wooden door. We didn't get robbed, we got money. <laughs> Two of no, us in the smallest not, elevator in the world. Day three of sitting at anchor with the wind blowing at 30 knots. It's one of those times when we're all ready and we want to leave, but we can't leave. So we just need to sit down and hang out. It'd be nice if it was somewhere nice, but I just want to get out of the city, you know, move on, go somewhere new. New Caledonia we are checking out uh, the first thing we got to do is um, clear our passports out so check us out and then the boat out and then go and see the harbour master so we've got a few things to do today I always get really emotional uh, when we're leaving a place and you know New Caledonia has been such an amazing experience um, but we're also excited to uh, go and see what Vanuatu is all about as well so mixed emotions today Woo! Getting it done. <laughs> Another stamp in the passport. Yeah, they still stamp. Ew. <laughs> Walking through the boatyard, we bumped into Remy. He has been a follower ah. of ours for two years since we lived in our bus. <laughs> it was nice to meet him after emailing each other, and he surprised me with a gift from France. <laughs> what are the odds? <laughs> 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 Yes, yes, yes. France. Oh, I can't wait. Uh, yeah. France uh, during uh, Julie. Yeah. And then we can make business. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, video. Yeah, oh, oh. yeah, yeah. Love it. That's awesome. Yeah, boy. How you doing? We finished our final shop for supplies as we don't know what resources lie ahead. The last thing we could think of to get was conditioner. They all say shampoo on them. Show me. Shampoo. 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 Yeah, you're shampoo. right. This one says Afres shampoo. I don't know. I'm so confused. I'm guessing this is conditioner. Does the nose know? The nose knows. Maybe we can ask. Parlez vous anglais? Uh, conditioner. Uh, so shampoo and then conditioner. And then after. Oui, after. Oui, and that, this one, after, shampoo. Serena. Conditioner. So, um, you know, shampoo and then condition. After. After. This one. We are okay, excellent. Oh, yeah. Merci. Merci. <laughs> That's another episode, guys. Yeah, yeah. The challenges of travelling, eh? Yeah, it makes every day interesting. It's always, uh, it's always interesting trying to complete a task in a foreign country. Yeah, take... something, something that could take ten minutes back at home always takes at least a day. Oh uh, yeah, or a couple of days. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's the fun of travelling. Yeah. A big thanks to all you new, all you new frothers that have decided to join the Sailing Nancy family. It's. Uh, it's because of you guys that we really keep moving forward and we can build our channel and we can keep creating videos. So you're an absolute, absolute champion. So big thanks to you guys. Thanks to Ricky, Edward, Ben, Matt, Jack, Andy, Sailing Inspire, Aurora, Proteus Rising, and big thanks to you, TTK, for upping your, pl upping your pledge again, mate. That's uh, really good, thank you. Yep. Uh, and also, um, we're going to be answering patrons' questions in the next video for the showstopper. So um, I'll put something up on our Patreon page and you guys can um, send through some questions and we'll answer it in the next video. So a little while back, one of our followers, Tracy, legend, thank you very much. She, uh, she encouraged other people to, uh, to send small donations towards Nanji to help us get a wind vane. So, from that, we've received a lot of a lot of donations, and uh, so we want to say thank you to all you people that have helped contribute. Yeah, thanks everyone that has donated. It's amazing. Well, we've uh, we've reached that 
over three quarters of our target. So we really want to say thank you and and to be able to reach that target, we've had a couple of very generous people that have that have offered quite a substantial amount of money. And recently, that is you, Robert. And we can't say thank you enough to you for yeah. for doing such a great deed and to help us improve Nanji and help us to create videos and and continue on our journey so yep. big thanks to you Robert thank you yeah so we've uh, we're just over a thousand dollars short of reaching our target so um, if you want to also contribute towards us getting a wind vane there'll be a link in the description below yep. yeah that's it cheers legends yeah we are trying to grow our channel so please subscribe like comment and share help spread the Nanji love um, and uh, be sure to check out the next episode. We have the full Vanuatu experience. So thanks for watching, guys. We hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah, cheers, legends. All right, till next time. You see ya.